have like reels of memories of you know being a counselor being in the bunk with my campers going on Ekgar both as a camper and as a counselor taking Shabbat pictures when my parents would come visit camp or with all of my cousins who were at camp um, so it's really hard to pick one probably mattress ball uh, same thing as kickball but with mattresses 2002 summer 2002 I was a living in Sri Filanot the youngest Ada almost the youngest Ada in camp. Every night during the Arga'a process, before the campers are going to sleep, I sang a song, Israeli song, it's called Numi Numi. And we did it every, every day, I did it every day. And I didn't think that it's really affect someone, I just, it was part of the process of going to sleep. And when I went to my days off, I, I, when I came back, I heard that the campers sang it without me. So they sang the whole song in Hebrew. And now, after 11 years, one of the madrichot, the American madricha, an American madricha came to me and she said, can you please come to my bank and sing Numi Numi to my campers? So this is very, very special for me. Very special memory. I remember the one year that I flew in from, from Florida. And so we flew on an airplane and then got on a bus. And I guess we were running a little late, so we didn't arrive till close to dinner time, which was unusual, because we'd usually arrive, you know, when other people had arrived, maybe late afternoon. And the sense of excitement on our bus was palpable. I mean, you could just feel how energetic we were. And we arrived, and people were in the Jarocha, and they were doing Birkat Amazon, and they wouldn't let us in. And so we were standing, I feel still remember this well, standing at the door, looking in the window at everyone doing beer cut and them seeing us and them looking at us and waiting for that moment when beer cut was done so that we could rush in and just grab our friends. And that was like one of the best moments ever. Still remember that. Well, last year my birthday was at camp and it was one of the last days. So we went to Rondo's on that day and then that night was also banquet. So that was a very, very fun day. When we did all three Lord of the Rings in 45 minutes, that play was so incredible. That was, you know, people were coming up to us all the time saying, wow, that was probably the funniest play in Camp Ramah history. We worked so hard as an Ada, and we all pulled it together. And after that second play, after we performed at Fort Saad Bet, we were all so sad. And we looked at each other and said, wow, this, this was one of the most incredible moments of our life. Can we ever top this? Waterfront was a lot of fun. Um, I had to be the one uh, to jump in the water, even though it was cold, though, first thing in the morning, and pretend that I liked it. <laughs> I thought the water at Camp Mons always very warm. Of course it is. It's <laughs> <laughs> it is last summer. Um, it was Shabbat Bogrim, so we were doing our song and our dance. And one of my staff members uh, was a Madri Chamik Tzoit, and she was on uh, recruit staff, so she choreographed our dance. And it was this kind of call and response where I did these funky dance moves, and then the rest of the Ada responded after me. And it happened, I remember, in the fifth week. But for the rest of the summer, I mean, some of those hits had only come a few days before, but for the rest of the summer, like, that was it. We had that. And every time that song came on, or any time we had an Ada joke, that was it. And that kind of exemplifies what I, you know, that I was, I don't know, I was, literally was the leader calling and responding, and it just was kind of, uh, uh, microcosm for what we're doing here at camp and it was just so fun and something that we even just the other day my campers from last summer came on in when we were doing Shira in the Chara Ochel and they came up to me and they started doing it and it first took me to realize a, a minute to process what they were doing until I realized we still have that and it's something that I think we'll, we'll always remember both me and and the Ada. So all the girls in Machon have a secret society that I probably shouldn't talk about but we have a lot of activities together and one time we all dressed up in black and we all met somewhere and we sang songs together. And it was so nice because that's when I realized how united we all were and how many friends I had made this summer and it was a really great feeling. I've one that's just funny that Beth and I mentioned every once in a while. Uh, the then director Gil Graff um, was admonishing the staff. Uh, I guess the campers probably were not there at the time. This must have been staff week um, when we were preparing for, for campers. And um, 
uh, you know, stood up there and said, too much vehicular conveyance. <laughs> that, that, that always stuck with me. <laughs> uh, three weeks into the summer, our counselors decided to take us to the treehouse overnight. Just boys. The girls were at the Bay Knesset. The boys were just at the treehouse for a night. It was buggy, hot. We all bonded together. I thought that was the day we finally became closer. We all became brothers. We weren't friends. We we're now family. Well, this doesn't really have to do with my family, but it was one of the moments that um, brought tears to my eyes. When we had a trampoline on Sad Aleph, I looked out the Misrad window and I saw a counselor holding one of our inclusion campers and jumping up and down on the trampoline. This inclusion camper was wheelchair bound and he had watched all of the kids in his bunk jump on the trampoline and have an amazing fun time and he couldn't do that. And his counselor lifted him up out of his wheelchair put him on the trampoline, climbed in after him, and then picked him up and jumped on the trampoline so this kid could have that experience. And that to me is, is just profound about what happens here at camp. Ooh.